Hey everyone, it's Courageous. Let me just move my little plant lady over here. And I'm here with the second cash stuffing of April. I feel like April's been a long month. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we are going to cash stuff my binder and my uh, cash divider. So if you're interested in all of that good stuff, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let's go to the video. All right, so first things first. There's no money left in the cash dividers. If you hear that, that is my puppy. One of my puppies with their little whining niche. All right, there's no money in there, but, and if you're new here, what I do is I stuff my bi-weekly spending, variable spending, I stuff half and half. So one week, one week. Uh, so that's why I have this binder here. And I do have money left in my gas. Oh, your girl got money left. Let's see how much we have. One, two, three, four. So we have $4 left. And this will go into my savings challenges. So keep an eye out for that video. So let's start with my coin jar we are at $24.46 and let's see how much we're stuffing I did it's good Friday y'all and we don't eat meat on good Friday so I had to buy some salmon so I did spend some of my grocery money but so I don't know how much we have left oh let me get my cash right. tray cash tray all right so we are stuffing 50 100 150 170 90 210 230, 250, 270, 280, 290, 310, 20, 25, 30, 35, so 335, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Random number, I know, but like I said, I already spent some money. All right, so this video is going to be short and sweet because like I said, we're just stuffing my cash dividers. And these are from Pixie Lax Planning. They will be linked in the description down below. And this is just the binder I got from Amazon. All right, so food was supposed to be getting 150, but I, I spent it. So what's going to be going into food is 75 for one week. So since I, this is going into the next week's groceries. Is it open or not? No, it's not open. Hey, the money's stuck. All right. I don't know how these things open. <laughs> All right, here we go. So 75 in for next week. And for this week, what's remaining is 41. And that's okay because I don't need a lot of stuff for this week. All right, so 41 goes into my cash divider how y'all been y'all i feel like i haven't <laughs> I feel like i haven't been on here in a while but the semester is coming to an end i'm a college professor if you're new here and i'm exhausted <laughs> i presented a conference paper last week i went out we went to drag brunch and yes queen it was fabulous uh, so I, I did manage to have some fun but i just i've been busy i've been booked and busy all right so Gas is getting 160, which is getting split into two. So that's 80 in each week. And I'm so glad gas is going down. It's under $4. It's under $4. I love to see it. So we have 50, 20, 80 going in the cash divider. All right, Mr. Frog, hold that down for me. Thank you. And 50, 20, 80. And 50, 70, 80, 50, 20, 80. Uh, going here. If you weren't so hard to open. There we go. All right, so 80 there. We're not stuffing pets this week. Um, I just bought dog food. And I will stuff that when I get paid on Wednesday again. All right, and then spending. Spending is getting just $20, and that's going just here. I'm still good on some candles, but I can get some more. And again, I will stuff next week with my Wednesday paycheck. And then me, moi, mademoiselle, I'm getting 30 so I'm getting 
10 and 10, 15 and 15. So that's 15 for this week and 15 for the next week. I feel like I'm doing these wrong. Am I doing it wrong? <laughs> so it goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Oh, you know what? No, because that, that's pets. So you know what? Pets, you come here because you're not getting stuffed. So then Jess, and here's Jess. And then Fun isn't getting stuffed, but I'm just going to put the laundry money back there. Oh, this is going in here. So me, I'm getting $15 for next week. Mm -hmm. Oh. I just, I feel like it's been a long month. I feel like April has been a month. As as quickly as the other months went, April, April needs to keep up. And then this is for laundry. So laundry's getting $15, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that goes here. So like I said, boom, quick stuffing. Let me get you an Oracle card and I will send you on your merry way. I stuff these in here and we are good for the week here. And let's use Wisdom of the Oracle. And this is just the pets one since it's not getting stuffed. I'm not going to put it in my wallet to take up empty space. So let's get you an oracle card. This is Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. I edged it and trimmed it. And yeah, let's get you a message. Milk and honey. So when I look at milk and honey, I think of dreams. <laughs> that's really what I think of. Um, us striving for what's at the end of the rainbow, right? That pot of gold, that land of milk and honey. And what's coming to me is how can like just looking at not only the six, um, but also the elephant just living living their best life in the milk and honey. Um, how can we take care of ourselves? What what advice have we gotten? What um, what counsel have we received? Excuse me, that's my email. What counsel have we received that we can take to kind of solidify our dreams um, or clarify what that means? and how can we because obviously we can't travel <laughs> we can't travel that that rainbow right we can't walk across the rainbow but how can we how can we solidify the steps and the path to to bask in that land of milk and honey that is singular to us right because my milk and honey is obviously not going to be the same as your milk and honey so clarifying what the land of milk and honey looks like for you and then just seeing what advice as you can see there's like a face there right so this kind of spirit um can be god can be just your higher self just kind of watching and be and and and, and just content at the fact that you've reached this land of milk and honey but what advice can we take what 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 counsel what do we need to nurture uh, because often we we let our dreams die and just to tie this back to budgeting right um what does what does wealth look like to you and what will you do with that wealth it's funny because i was joking with my sister i was like I, there's a meme that says um I, I, god just make me rich i promise i won't change like it just me it won't change me at all um and and it's just like what 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 does wealth how much do you need to be wealthy how much do you need to to lap in this land of, of milk and honey that is your ideal um like so for example for me this land of milk and honey uh represents freedom um less limitations um more more rest more stability um but what what does it mean to you and how can you how can you take steps to get to that to get to the end of that rainbow and what what external factors are playing a role and what internal factors are playing a role so let me not make this video longer than it needs to be that's your message i will see you in my next video where i will stuff my third paycheck of d 
December, December, oh my God. It'll be December before we know it, um, of April. And I will also stuff my savings challenges. And uh, y'all pay attention to that one because I got good news. I got some good news on my savings challenges. So yeah, I will see you in my next video. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you in my next video. This is Courageous. Peace.